for the last project for access. As always, make sure that you save it as underscore two so that you can submit it to Sam for grading. Um, as always, I have my instructions printed and you can just print yours as well or split your screen and follow along with just downloading it to your computer. All right, so I'm going to get right into it. Step one, the Economic Development Professional Organization hosts an annual conference for its members, college students, and other interested persons to share new ideas, discuss problems, and brainstorm solutions. You are a conference coordinator responsible for registration. Create a new table and data sheet view with the following options. So we're going to go to Create and Table. When you click that, it automatically opens up in data sheet view. See how it's grayed out there? A. Rename the default primary key ID field to Advertiser ID. So this is your default. We're going to right click and rename the field to Advertiser ID. Okay. Change the data type to short text. So I'm going to need to change the data type here to short text. Default is for it to be auto number. So one, two, three, four. So there's no duplicates. Okay, so B, add a new field with the name, advertiser name, and short text data. So when you click to add, the first thing they want you to do is choose the data type, and it says short text, and now you can change the name. So advertiser name. Third field is short text data type and contact L name. Contact. And a fourth field is short text as well, and that one is contact F name. And the fifth field is currency, and it's called cost. So instead of hitting enter now, I'm just going to click outside. Save the table with the name advertisers and close the table. So here's your table here. So I'm going to right click, save, and it's going to ask me for a name because I haven't saved it before. Advertisers. Okay. All right, so now we have a new table here. And close the table, so you can right-click and close it right here. You can also close it right here. Okay, step two, use the import spreadsheet wizard to import the data from your support file and append to the advertisers table. Do not save the import steps. So external data this is your export group, this is your import group, so we're going to go to new data source, from file, it is a .xlsx file, meaning it's an Excel file, so we'll click here, we will go to our downloads, and choose our Excel file. We're going to append it to the advertisers table. Sometimes that'll show up because these are databases. Next. Next. So this is the last step here. It says do not save the import step, so you don't need to click on this and just choose close. So you just imported data from your Excel file into the advertisers table. Oops. Just wanted to show you that there. Okay, so step three, create a new table in design view with the following options. So we're going to go to create and we're going to choose table design. So here we are in design view and we're going to add a field with the name sponsor ID. And short text data type is the default change the field size to 4, so your field size is automatically 255, so we're going to go 4. B, set sponsor ID as the primary key, so choose this and primary key. C, add a field with the name sponsor name and short text data type, so sponsor name, short text. D, add a third field with the name amount and currency. Save the table with the name, <clears throat> excuse me, sponsors and switch to data sheet view. So save 
sponsors, switch to data sheet view. Okay. Step four with the sponsors table open in data sheet view, add the records shown in table one. So that's going to be <clears throat> S, capital S, 020, dynamic growth. thousand resize the sponsor name field so that the field value is completely visible okay so it's kind of like in your Excel you go to the right of the field and double click and it will do best fit save the changes and close the sponsors table so right click save right click close Step five, open the attendees table in data sheet view and delete the record for the attendee with an attendee ID of TL001. So we're gonna open it. If we just double click, it opens straight up in data sheet view. If you wanted to open up in design view, you just right click and design view, okay? So we are looking for LT, TL, sorry, TL001 right here. So we click on this and we go up uh, to here and choose delete. Yes. Make sure that you chose the right one when you delete because you can't get it back. Okay, so step six, switch to design view. Okay, so now I'm going to switch my design view. Change the name of street field using address. Street turns into address. And add a new field to the end named cell phone and short text. So cell phone short text. Save the changes and close the table. Right click save, right click close. Step seven, use the simple query wizard. Simple query wizard create. Simple query wizard to create a query based on the attendees table. Okay, so we go query wizard. Here's the simple query wizard, it's the first one. We are going to choose the attendees table. Okay, so that's automatically there, but here's where you find your tables and queries. A is include the attendee ID the first name, last name, cell phone, in that order. B, save the query using attendee contact info. So next, attendee contact info. finish and here it is. Then it says close the query. So we right click and we just close it down. Step eight, use the form wizard. So create form wizard to create a form for the advertisers table. So the advertisers table the reason it default opened up to attendees was because I have attendees selected over here. So if you wanted to do it quickly, you could just click on advertisers and then form wizard and it just shows up there as advertisers instead of you having to look for it. Include advertiser ID, advertiser name, and cost fields. Select the columnar, which is defaulted, and Assign the title advertiser cost data. So advertiser cost data and view the form and close it. Finish. Boop. One of seven. Okay, so we got all of our records in here. Perfect. Right click and close. So you'll see these showing up down here. Form. We just created a query, contact info. Okay, step nine. Use the report wizard. 
Okay, so create report wizard based off the attendees table. So because I had it chosen over here, it's automatically shown up here. Include the last name, first name. So last name, first name, city and states. So city, state. Do not add any grouping levels. So we're not going to add any. And sort the records in ascending order by last name. Okay. Select the tabular and the portrait, which are defaults. So you just click next and assign the title attendee locations. View the report and then close it. So we're going to go finish. There's your report. And close. So now you have a new report down here. Step 10, create a query and design view for the attendees table with the following options. So create a new query off the attendees table. Include last name, first name, city, and state. Did I get it? No, state. Sort the records in ascending order by last name. So here's last name, ascending. Add criteria to select only those records where Philadelphia is the city. So here's your criteria row. Here's your city column. So Philadelphia. Make sure I spelled that right. Yep, alrighty. Save the query using Philadelphia attendees. So we will right click. Save Philadelphia attendees. OK, then close it. Right click and close. Step 11, open the guest and workshop query in design view. So the guest and workshop query. So I'm going to right click and design view. Add the registration fee field to the query. So I'm going to double click and it comes up here. Um, it wants me to put it immediately following the attendee ID. So I'm going to get my thick black arrow pointing down. Click once so it all turns black. And then I'm going to click and hold and drag it over until I see that thick black line to the right of the column I want it to be next to. So it wants to be following attendee ID. We've got that done. B, add criteria to select only those records where the guest fee field value equals zero and the workshop fee equals zero. So they're ands. We're going to go to the guest, the criteria row for the guest fee and it's equals zero and the workshop fee. So next to each other is and, beneath is or, one or the other. So this is going to narrow down your results quite a bit. Open the query in data sheet view and confirm that 16 records appear. <clears throat> so to open it in data sheet view, you can click run or just click data sheet view here. And we've got 16 records. Perfect. Close the query, saving if necessary. Always save, save and close. Okay. Step 12, create a query in design view based on the attendees and the registration tables. So we're going to do something like what we just did, query create and query design, except now we're going to click attendees and add and registration and add. Now I'm going to close them both down. And just so I can see everything that's here, add the attendees, oh, add the attendees table and registration table to the design window. The table should be automatically joined by the common field attendee ID. So that's this joint here as a color relationship. So add the first name and last name fields from the attendees table. So the first name and last name fields, and then add the registration ID, registration fee, and workshop fee, fields from the registration table, D, save the query using attendee registration as the query name. So we're going to right click and save Re attendee registration. All right, no typos. If you have any typos, if you realize afterwards that you made some typos, you can right click on any one as long as it's closed here 
and you can rename it. So no big deal. Step 13. Open the OR states query in design view. Right click, design view. A, move the state field so that it is the first field in the design grid. So this is what we just did. We're going to click on state and we're going to wait till it's black, see our pointer, click and hold, drag it to be the very first field in the design grid. B, add criteria to select only those records where the value in the state field is NY or NJ. So NY and then we go beneath for OR. N, J. Okay. Um, sort the records in ascending order by state. So we're staying with state here and we're going with ascending order. And then by last name. And then ascending here. Open the query in data sheet view and confirm it matches figure one. So we'll go data sheet view, Barbara, Martha, Sarah, Ivan, Sean, and May. Perfect. Okay, right click, save, and close. Step 14, use the cross tab query wizard. So create, and this is in your query wizard button. This is cross tab query wizard. Okay. Use the state field for the row headings. Oops, we are basing it off the attendees table. There you go, attendees table. Next. Use state as row headings next and use city for column headings next. Use a count of attendee ID. Okay, so count of attendee ID is defaulted. And save the query using state underscore city cross tab as the query name. So next state City cross tab. View the query and close it. Finish. Okay. Right click, save, right click, and close. 